Well, we're just about ready to taxi here. We're just waiting up uh, for our, our lead aircraft. Uh, we're going to go up and, uh, with our lead aircraft, do formation air refueling, which we'll be doing over the Atlantic Ocean, about uh, 100 miles off the coast. We're going to take off as a two-ship, so the lead aircraft will take off, and 30 seconds later, we'll take off right behind him. Uh, we'll join up on his wing and fly. It's about half an hour, um, half an hour, 45 minutes up to the, the AR track. Starts just, uh, just south of Wilmington, North Carolina, and uh, we'll run due south for about an hour, hour and a half, and our lead aircraft will get their air refueling, and then we'll we'll move into position. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like towing a car. It's in some respects, and it's kind of like pushing a car in other respects. My airplane affects his with our bow wave. Uh, you know, we push so much air, our airplane is so much bigger than his, and we're right up underneath his tail that we'll actually kind of push him around more so than him dragging us around. And what I'm doing, uh, depending upon my position. Uh, whether I'm up, down, or left, right, I'll actually pull the, the boom into the windstream and out of the windstream, and what that does is that will accelerate or decelerate him, depending upon if I streamline him or, or give him more drag. It's a little bit more difficult than, than pulling the trailer behind the car. I disconnect about five minutes from holding, so about another three minutes. Kazarak from the 14th Airlift Squadron. We just got done taking fuel from this KC-135. Just another day at the office here in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. It's the best job, it's my dream job.